Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss object and class in C++. These two are very important features of object-oriented programming and there will be a definite question in your technical interviews regarding these two. So let us discuss what is object and what is class. An object is any real-world entity like pen, board, laptop, any vehicle, any electronic device, bench, table and these all are physical objects. Same way we can have university result, bank account, login form and these all are logical objects. Programming objects are nearly similar to real world objects or code in object oriented programming is organized around objects only or we can add more statement for that is in object oriented programming all computations are carried out using objects. So let us discuss attributes and methods of an object. Suppose we are having object person. So we expect that person to have a name. So that will be attribute of that person. Same way we can have age and weight as attribute of that person. Now we would expect that person should do something. So person can eat, sleep and walk. And these all are called methods or we can say operations that to be performed by object person. Next object is car. So attributes of car would be company of that car, color and fuel type. And methods would be like start car, drive car, stop car. Same way we are having logical object like bank account and attributes would be account number, holder name and account type and operations we can perform on bank account is like deposit withdraw or transfer so this would be methods of that object so each and every object having some attributes and methods or we can say operations that could be performed by that object now let us discuss class class is a blueprint of an object or we can say class describes an object class is a collection of similar kind of object suppose we consider class of computer students so it will contain objects like student 1 student 2 student 3 and attributes for that object would be roll number they all are learning c++ subject so let us discuss class in detail suppose we are having class car so here we are having skeleton of that car now attributes would be company model color manufacturing year and many more features that could be included in attributes of car or we can say properties that describes the car or methods would be start drive park on break so for each and every object there would be some attributes attributes will describe the object and methods that are the functions that can be performed on that object so if we are having class car then we can create object from that that is car honda city that will be having company name honda and having various attributes like uh, manufacturing year fuel type suppose if we make another object from same class car but will be having different attributes so here you can observe that we are having similar kind of objects but having different attribute values all will be having similar kind of description and methods but values will be different so ultimately we can say that car is a class which describes similar kind of objects like different cars let us move further as we have discussed class is a blueprint or we can say template that describes the object and it specifies attributes and methods so syntax will be like class then your class name and in curly braces you are supposed to define or declare data members and member functions that means attributes and methods and here car1 is one object so this syntax seems very similar to structure. We are supposed to write struct, then structure name, 
then structure members and we here used to create structure variables so class is user defined data type as we use structure as a user defined data type here in this example car is a class car1 is object of that class now object object is an instance of a class or you can say object is a variable of that class same like structure variable so through this object we can access the member of class or we can say through that class variable we can access members of that class so suppose we are having class car in that we are having members price mileage as a data member and start and drive as functions for a while private and public is access specifier just consider this are access specifier we will discuss about this in detail in later lectures so right now ignore these and consider all these are class members in main i am creating one variable car1 of type car so using car1 i can access its member like start and drive let us uh, write code for that to understand this in detail we used to write class that is keyword and class name same like structure now i am creating member that is public integer price float mileage and void get data get data will ask for price and mileage suppose we write appropriate message here see out enter price see out enter mileage same way we can create function like display data and that will be printing price equals to price and mileage so here we have created class having four members price mileage get data and display data these two we can say are attributes and these two are we can say methods so let us create variable of type car car is a class we are creating variable now rather than using name variable we will call it as object so we have created object car1 if i access car1 dot price equals to 400 right now car1 dot mileage equals to suppose i am printing the same see out price equals car1 dot price so it is similar like structure you used to access structure members using structure variable here we will access class members using objects so to access mileage so to access mileage we will write car1 dot mileage let us save compile and execute 
here price is 400 and mileage is 18.59 for a while hold your question regarding public and private otherwise all staff are very similar to structure and structure members structure variables and access members using that variables so i hope class and object concept is clear thank you